guys, and welcome back to another movie review by film critic Zach Dwyer. This week we are going over Beauty and the Beast. Now, most people will take forever to get to the rating, so I'll just go ahead and start by saying it gets a 5 out of 7 stars. There's only one part of the movie I really didn't like, but we'll get into that later. For those that are somehow unfamiliar with this movie, the plot is quite simple. A young lady takes acid, falls in love with a dog, and then spends two hours talking to furniture! <laughs> We've all been there, right? If you like musicals, Disney, or the first Beauty and the Beast, you're gonna love this. There was only one part of the movie that didn't really make sense, and it's the very beginning. The prince who will soon become the Beast, is throwing this huge party for all him and his friends. Well, it's on a private residence, away from everyone, and this old witch, she comes in and she breaks in the back door and demands help. Now, because the prince doesn't want to give her help, she curses him and everyone in the house. Total bitch. Am I right? I mean, it really doesn't set up because why would you help someone breaking into your house? I know I wouldn't. Besides that, flawless movie. Like I said, 5 out of 7 stars. Fun fact about this movie, The Beast took hours upon hours of CGI animation, resulting in millions and millions of hairs added onto it. It was the second most expensive effect in the movie. Do you want to know what the most expensive part of the movie was? Was removing all the hair from the feminist lead actress, Emma Watson. Now, the last thing I want to go over and touch on is the moral of the story. These family-friendly Disney movies tend to have a positive one to make you go home smiling. Well, so what was the moral of the story with Beauty and the Beast? Stockholm Syndrome leads to bestiality. Have a good day!